The Navajo Nation is rural, remote communities and it drops into large valley areas where even our mobile police radios are unable to connect with our dispatch. So our officers kind of go blind into a lot of these calls. A lot of the 911 calls that we respond to are off the highway. You can be on the dirt roads for 45 minutes, especially if it's nighttime, you really don't know where you're going. The terrain affects communications. Sometimes we we're doing search and rescues in canyons, so that kind of limits the reception. Nine or 10 months ago is when we first subscribed to FirstNet. We're using the cell phones, and that has closed the gap. We responded to a patient who was in supraventricular tachycardia. They had a heart rate of 220 to 230. We were having trouble finding IV access, so we contacted our medical control, and he stayed on the phone with us the entire time. He gave us procedures that we could do, as well as certain medications that we were able to push at our paramedic level. FirstNet helped with that because the call didn't drop. He was able to stay on the phone with us. We're hoping that with the FirstNet Mega Range, we'll be able to do our patient charting, quickly upload it, and in that patient charting, we can input our GPS coordinates of where that exact patient was picked up. One of the reasons why a lot of our officers are gathered at the police district is because that's where they do their reports. The expectation for the long range Wi-Fi boosters is for us to initiate our plan as far as getting more officers out in the field. We'll be able to deploy more manpower resources out in those areas where officers are able to do their police or arrest reports in those areas and be available in the public presence. FirstNet Mega Range will help us build a better infrastructure for our reporting systems, our GPS systems, and be able to map out the rural area for the public having the boost in signal and service gets information quicker so that way we can better respond to certain situations whether it's fire, hazmat, rescue situations. Eventually we'll get to that point where we start working and connecting with our local county and state partners as far as mobile connectivity goes.